Hello guys, this is uh, Nick here from the Dutch crew. Um, today is my first video. It, um, today I'm playing uh, Skyrim. And I will do a little playthrough from the start of the game. And um, I will go through the first quest really quickly. And I will give you some nice tips to start with and um, well let's see what we can do as you can see here uh, we're in a carriage and we're arriving in the city where we will be executed oh, we got to the block you know the first two Three uh, well, the first missions, in fact, are quite straightforward and easy. Um, but later on, it will be more complicated. But yeah, the the start is uh, very easy. Uh, well, no. we're on the block. What in oblivion is that? Centuries. What and we saying? will be attacked by a dragon. Oh, it's all. Like I said, it's all uh, very straightforward. You have to run away from the dragon, and you have to get out of this city, which is not uh, very difficult. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was just nice to start from the really from the start of the game. To be able to explain everything, uh, properly, you know. And we're in the keep, and um. Yeah, we're. Uh, this is the torture room which you will encounter after a few moments in the in this cave. Um, this is the first step. If you have, uh, if you're not overcarried, always pick up stuff you can get um, from enemies. Because you know, especially when you start the game, everything is worth something and items which weigh you know around 50 and 50 uh, points of weight and um, they have a uh, you know a wealth of um, 30 coins then it's not worth to take it but um, you know every when you start a game it's always nice to pick some things up uh, you can sell them and you will easily have some coins when you start the game I and I will make another guide um, on how to get uh, coins very easily and how to level up very easily um, which I think is uh, very nice well when you uh, get out of this cave you should talk to Alvor and Riverwood um, You know, you should just follow the path to the guardian stones. No, there are three stones there: a thief stone, a mage stone, and a warrior stone. And uh, um, I choose the warrior stone here. Um, and each stone will give you uh, six skills, uh, which will level up twenty percent quicker um, if you guys don't uh, know where to find the guardian stones just follow the path from Riverwood from where you came as you can see we're around Riverwood now uh, that is uh, you know quite straightforward in fact here is Riverwood and um, this is the first town you will encounter and uh, so these were the uh, the first things. Now the the skills. Um, 
you have a lot of skills and each skill has a perk tree and each time you level up you can choose from uh, magicka, health and stamina to increase by 10 points which are the main things and um, you also get one perk and um, the max level is 81 so that's the amount of perks you can get um, and there are 18 skills and around 230 or 240 perks something like that so you have to be really careful when uh, using your perks and uh, the most important perks to get the best armor and weapons in the game are uh, smithing, enchanting and alchemy and speech is also very easy to uh, to rise uh, quickly because there's some kind of glitch um, which I will show you later um, and that uh, will make prices lower for you um, and you will get more coins for the stuff you sell um, and then you have, you can choose from the one handed or two handed weapons I always use one handed because then you can equip uh, some magic in your other hand or just uh, dual wield weapons which is fully legit uh, which is very cool um, you can always use a shield if you uh, want that but um, I do not recommend it um, and this is uh, also a very nice part of uh, of Skyrim is that you can uh, get followers this is the first uh, follower to get and um, people will follow you if you uh, do some little job for them so um, the first one here is Feyendel and um, he is in love with some girl which is here who is here um, and um, but there is some other guy and he wants you to give a letter to her so that um, she doesn't like the other guy anymore and then uh, Feyendel will, uh, will follow you if you ask him um, and the best thing of uh, Feyendel to follow you is the, uh, the best things in fact there are a few um, is that um, he can carry some you know stuff for you uh, but first this um, if you don't know where he is you can always um, put on the objective so I chose miscellaneous and um, then uh, go back to Feyendal and then uh, there will be an uh, arrow on your compass of where he is well tell him that uh, you think uh, this lady Camilla uh, doesn't like this fan anymore the other guy um, and then ask him to follow you well you can ask him to do something uh, to attack for example someone you can also uh, ask to trade some things with him then he will uh, be able to carry something uh, from you and uh, at this moment he had 12 uh, steel arrows and if you give him back uh, take those 12 and give him back one he will you know kind of generate his own arrows um, and uh, he only needs one so uh, if you have one uh, very good arrow or a few give him one and he will generate more you can ask him this can you train better at archery which is um, able to be done with every uh, follower which can uh, who can train you uh, just train a level ask him to trade some things with him and your gold will be in his pocket so you can get back your gold every time you do this um, there is a max he is an uh, adept trainer I guess that's the way to call it um, and uh, that means you, he can only uh, train you up to, lev uh, to level 50 at archery um, be aware of this um, you can only train 5 times a level so if you want to uh, if you can level up but you haven't used all your uh, training possibilities yet 
you should definitely wait uh, before you level up and make sure you to always uh, get back your money you can also ask him to wait uh, if you don't want to take him into a dungeon because you think he will be hit or something then I'll, or you can ask him to part ways and then he will go back to the mill where he was around or to his house if you pick the key of his house out of his pocket um, you can just go in his house into his house um, well after just following the path out of uh, Riverwood crossing the bridge you will get to this small farm house thing oh well it's a meadery um, and we have to go to that castle up, uh, up the hill in the city of Whiterun always be aware that there is a giant around here um, somewhere um, you should be careful because um, especially when you are a low level if he hits you you are you're gonna be a dead guy so be aware of that um, well we're going to go to the city but first this thing um, this can be done with every uh, stables these are the white run stables then but um, in, um, around every stable there is a carriage and you can talk to the guy on the carriage and you can ask to if you can hire his carriage and then you can travel to each big city in the in the world of Skyrim for just a few coins a maximum of 50 coins which is really cheap um, and it's basically a, a long walk long and sometimes dangerous even well walk just go into the uh, into the city you can persuade on uh, some guards for example but do not intimidate them because then there is a chance they uh, that they attack you and um, on the low level guards are quite strong well this is the place where we have to go this is dragon's reach first this chamber um, which is from the wizard um, he is working an alchemy lab and the right thing is a uh, arcane enchanter um, which are two quite important things you can um, mix some potions on the uh, alchemy lab and uh, on the arcane enchanter you can um, you can enchant your weapons with uh, for example frost damage or fire damage and you can put uh, some nice spells on your armor um, for example um, that your magicka regenerates quicker well, uh, then you go to the jaw to uh, finish your now your first quest um, and then he asks you to go to the wizard around here um, and the wizard will ask you to get some kind of stone from a, a cave and then uh, you can go out and advance your quest so these were the first two quests and uh, some nice, nice tips i hope you guys liked it and uh, please leave a comment or like and see you guys later